Airbnb studio, this is Peter Sissons. Hello. Every day, news bulletins bring us the biggest stories from around the world. But we don't always hear about the many acts of kindness that happen every day. Is mankind? Well, we've uncovered a number of incredible stories that show that man is kind more often than not, that many go the extra mile, and that not all news is bad news. Our first is about a man paralyzed from the waist down, who's been gifted the chance to walk again for a very important occasion. Christy Garrett reports. An inspirational moment that's gone viral. It shows 31-year-old Simon Kindley Sides walking for the first time in more than two years after he lost the use of his legs when he was diagnosed with a neurological disorder. Just can't put it into words, really. Having that many people see me um, and then write to me from all around the world to say they've seen my video. Simon was handpicked for this unique opportunity by Tom Priestley and the teams at Rex Bionics and Physiofunction, who are now extending their kindness and giving him the chance to use the robotic suit, free of charge, to follow his dreams. Whenever I see someone um, or train someone new, they've all got that one thing they want to use Rex for. After wanting to be a singer ever since he was a child, Tom is getting behind Simon for his next big audition. I'll be watching as, as, he, as he takes his steps and does his first thing in the Rex. I'd love to see that. I think it'll be really impressive. Simon says being at eye level with whoever he's auditioning for will be a boost to his confidence. Just to stand tall, you know, to be six foot tall is a great feeling. In the meantime, he's giving back himself, raising money for the Brain and Spine Foundation by taking on the grueling challenge of becoming the first person ever to hand cycle from London to Paris. If you just stayed in bed and feel sorry for yourself, then that's a, that's a slow death, isn't it? I want to be an inspiration to a lot of people. After completing this 300-mile challenge, Simon's hoping his next stop is riding high in the charts.